Welcome to all the sundry. So exciting that Florence is now able to move her head and eyes and everything else. I'm also very pleased to say that yesterday afternoon I managed to um, load a new library for stepper motors. And this library is brilliant because it, it's called Excel Stepper. So what it does, as you'll see in a minute, you can see that it speeds up, it accelerates the stepper motor and then slows the stepper motor down. So if we look at Florence the way she moves, so she speeds up and then reaches the end and slows down nicely, which just gives it a really nice look. And also, the other good thing, it's typical, there's bits of wire in the way, let's zoom in on the little LEDs for the stepper motor so you can see get out of the way, here we are so you can see towards the beginning and the end the LEDs flash faster and slower and that's really good because I want to put on a little window in the front through which you can see the LEDs illuminating a little cutout um, which I've used on other machines it seems a shame when you've got LEDs flashing and all controlling to hide them away hence the fact that I devise this little window and a series of cutouts. Incredibly complicated actually. There's about seven or eight separate slices to these but they do look really nice. And the scribulator has two of them because it's got four stepper motors in that write the day, date and month. Righto, just a little update. I've made a little plastic bit to support the interface that's going to work the stepper motor so it holds the four LEDs that flicker in the right place so they can be seen through the little window when I build that. I've labelled all the wires, all the multicoloured spaghetti to make it slightly easier then disconnected them from the Arduino which is now screwed to the side there. My next job is to shorten all these, tidy them all up and join them onto the right pins. Lovely. Oh, and rather than using these large transistors, Donington pairs to switch the mouth motor and the motor that moves everything endlessly on the machine, I realised that there's a fabulous little chip that controls the stepper motor, chain, takes very small amounts of electricity from the Arduino and switches la very large amounts of electricity for the stepper motor. Only four of the available transistors inside it are used. That leaves three. Four, four, six, yeah, three spare ones. So I've added extra wires to it and connected wires to the three extra outputs. Because these little printed circuit boards are mass produced just for the stepper motors, they don't bother connecting the extra inputs and outputs to anything so they just remain free. I've got all the wires tidied up, all the colour spaghetti. They now all go where they're meant to go and are much more tidy. There's the lovely little interface that works the stepper motor and now works the mouth and what else is it? Oh the machine, the engine motor. And there's the all important bus bar, I don't know what you'd call it. I've learnt it's so important just to have a nice little junction place that you can bring all the positive and negative wires to. Lovely. Let's watch her work. By the way, the mouth at the moment is just randomly opening and closing. Eventually it'll be worked somehow by software linking it with the audio files. 